Welcome to Thunkworks. In this video, I'm going to make a steel rose. So this is the material I'm going to be using for for the uh, for the rose. It's an old pedal bin, and all I need to do to start off with is cut out some. Some circles. I've never tried to make one of these roses before, so I don't know how well it's going to go. I've cut a few circles out. You see there the polished side and then the uh, brush finish side. Not sure which side I'm going to go for yet. Um, I'm now going to draw out some petal shapes, um, cut them out. So I've drawn out my petals. I've got I've drawn three with uh, four petals each. I've got my uh, double petal there, which will be the centre of the rose. I've drawn some with three petals. See, I'll see what they look like when they're all folded up, and um, I've put some texture in. I may just um, make some more four petal ones, just make them slightly smaller. But we'll see how well it works. I'm just going to draw all the centre holes in them now. I've drilled all the holes in the, uh, the pieces now and I've got this 4mm steel rod so once I have shaped all the petals I'll slide them on one by one um, and uh, fold the petals up uh, after I've given some, some texture. So I've just heated this piece up, it is still hot, you can see there it gets some nice um, blues and purple colours, if you heat it really gently you get some uh, sort of straw uh, colours, sort of beautiful yellowy uh, golden, um, depending on the colour I, I, I think I would prefer for the petals, you have to be very careful heating it, it's very easy to uh, heat it, put too much heat in and take it too far. There we go, I've textured all my uh, my petals. Next thing to do is start, uh, I'm not sure actually if it would be best to um, heat them and colour them first or whether to just do that at the end. I think if I do it at the end I'll still be left with sort of the um, silver sort of chrome colour on the inside which might give a good effect, we give a nice variety of colours throughout the petals. Uh, so I'll probably start doing that, I'll start with the centre one uh, and then just go from there really.
you've just seen, so you've just been layering up the uh, petals and uh, bending them with the pliers. And I'm actually I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. So I've got all my pieces cut out now. Um, I'm going to start trying to give them some colour with the uh, little blowtorch that I've got. Um, the leaf that I've cut out, um, I'm going to try and go for a sort of um, a strawy kind of bronze colour. And then the, all the, the rest of the petals, I'm going to try and um, go for a purple. And we'll see, we'll see how it looks at the end. I've just quickly cut out these two leaves and um, textured them. Um, and I'm, I'm going to colour them the same as the leaves underneath the petals. So I'm going to go for like a bronze colour. Um, and because I forgot to uh, record um, colouring all the petals, um, this is a good opportunity to uh, show the process again. There we go, some really nice colours in there. The uh, sort of brushed side of the stainless steel shows, that, shows up the colours a lot better. The last part you would have seen me doing is welding the petals onto the stem. Now, the the way that I've done that, I'm, I'm really not. Ha I wasn't happy with how this one was turning out. You can see how the petals have ended up being sort of stacked up more than I would have liked. I did weld one of the um, leaves onto the stem, um, but I just wasn't happy with the end result of this one. Really, um, just wasn't happy of saying it was a finished product. So. Off camera, I went and made a second one, which I'm really happy with. Um, and I, on the first one, you would have seen I slid each petal onto the sh onto the stem, uh, and then welded them. And doing it that way, it wasn't able able to get in and grind the weld flush, so the new new petal sat on top of the weld. So that's why they ended up stacked up the way they are. For this one, I welded the center petal onto the next petal from below with no stem in the way. I plug welded it and then I came in and used my um, my belt sander uh, to ground the, grind the weld flush and then carried on like that. And then um, I welded the stem onto the base once all the petals were constructed. So thanks for watching. Um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, but I'll leave a link down in the description to my Instagram. Um, Again, thanks for watching and uh, until next time.